Everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be part two of my decluttering my makeup collection series. So today we're going to do anything that is face related that wasn't foundation. So primers, powders, and concealers. So it's going to be pretty long. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. Vote in the comments because I'm sure I'm going to have trouble deciding what do I keep, what do I not keep. Let me know, oh Emily, you haven't tried this one properly for sure because I love it, for example. So you can vote in the comments. So let's get into it. We're gonna go with concealer now. As you can see, this is probably one of the most ridiculous thing for me because I do like uh, concealers, but there's no way this is ever gonna get used up. I know there's a couple of them that are either old or I just don't reach for them. So I'm gonna go through every single one because this is a nightmare. I'm gonna start by the ones that I know I'm keeping. So the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, Holy Rail uh, Concealer, it's amazing. If you have a pimple, this is what you need to cover it. It's waterproof, it's just not budging. Adore it. The drugstore version would have to be the Maybelline uh, Master Conceal. Again, we'll keep this. I have the color uh, Fair though, so I think I'm gonna get a darker shade to have a summer shade so I can use it in tutorials once again. I feel like this is such a mistake. I'm telling you that I'm gonna buy some more I'm doing bad. I told you that would happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this one. Same thing with the uh, Maybelline one. This is the Fit Me one. I'm sure I have more than those two. I know I have other ones. I'm not sure where they are, but adore this. We'll never get rid of this. This is Holy Grail uh, concealer. Yeah, everybody needs to try this, especially if you have more dry under eyes. This will not emphasize dryness. It's amazing. So Holy Grail, keeping it. Also keeping the Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, concealer. There's some correctors and concealers. My mistake was that I waited too long to be able to return some at Sephora and I decided to get darker shades because the light shade is the whitest concealer I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you can never find a uh, concealer that is light enough, recommend this. It's full coverage, adore it. You've seen it in recent videos. I can't live without it anymore. I'm gonna try and be reasonable. I think I'm gonna get rid of the uh, Maybelline uh, uh, Better Skin Superstay Concealer. It's great. I am not saying it's not good. It's actually a very good uh, concealer. I do feel like it uh, would last longer than the Fit Me, especially if you have more combo skin or oily skin. But personally, it's not an issue for me. I would rather have something that disappears a little than something that is drying. It's not drying, but you know what I mean. If you have really dry under eyes, I feel like everything can be drying. So I will pass this along because I know someone like my sister will love this and it's not working as good for me as some of the other ones that I know I'm keeping. So I know I already have like something else I can use in tutorials. So I'm gonna pass this along because I'm trying to be reasonable and completely failing. Same thing with the um, ELF HD Lifting Concealer. This one is way too yellow for me and I'm just not reaching for it. So I'm gonna pass it along. Then I have a bunch of the Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin. This is, those are the correctors, which here. I have them, I love them, I'm gonna keep them. They're pretty recent in my collection. I've been loving them. For example, if you go with the NYX one, I feel like this is too full coverage for your skin if you have a more dry skin or if you like lighter coverage. If you use this, you need to wear full coverage on top of it. So I think I'm gonna pass this along. As you can see, this one I didn't touch purposely because I knew I would have something else that I prefer in my collection. So I think I'm gonna give this away even though it breaks my heart and I kinda wanna try it. What do you think I should do? I'm letting you vote for the first time. Let's vote. Keeping it, trying it, giving it away, what do I do? I'm also keeping the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is the concealer, absolutely amazing, love this. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me, but maybe a little bit better. I feel like it's amazing under your eyes, so we'll never get rid of this for sure. Aha, I told you I had another one of the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a backup of the number 15, which I finally finished, so I'm gonna get rid of that one, and I'm keeping this one. I'm gonna be able to start using it soon. Well, soon, whenever I get pale again. <laughs> the Maybelline concealer, I like the Age Rewind one. This one is the color light. I got this one for the summer. It's not that light. I feel like I keep saying that, but it's not that light. Anyway, um, I'm keeping this Adore It. I feel like Maybelline has some really great concealers. This is the Revlon Photo uh, Ready. This is a, a brightening pen type thing. This is the uh, pink one, which Honestly, this is something that you blend and it blends to absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Unless you wanna see a video, I could compare a couple ones, like the MAC ones. I know like Maybelline has a brightening one, like uh, L'Oreal one. So let me know. I might put it in the, like keeping it until I do a video pal and then getting rid of it. But right now it's gonna get out of this main collection. So let me know what you think. 
but for now I'm not keeping it because it just does absolutely nothing for me. So I've actually been testing out a lot of the uh, brightening pen. I'm still trying them out. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I do feel like some of them don't have a lot of products, by the way, but let me know. They're all pretty much pink tone because that's what I like. So let me know if you want to see a video on this. I could totally do this, but for now, I'm going to keep them to keep testing. It. Uh, this is an old Kat Von D concealer. Whenever I was really fair, like during the winter a few years ago, I decided to get this because it was the lightest shade of concealer I could find anywhere. And as you can see, it's probably still the lightest shade I own. It is a very, very, very lightweight. They did change the formula. I feel like now it's a little bit more moisturizing. That's what I've heard. Um, this I bought to use under my eyes, which was a mistake because I didn't know back in the day that this was way too drying for this. This is, would be like a face concealer and it would cover absolutely anything. They're not kidding when they say tattoo concealer, like it can't cover your tattoo. It's great, but the shade is not working for me. I'm just gonna get rid of this because it's a bit old. So I'm not gonna pass it to anyone. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of product in there, but you don't need much, and I feel like I still use quite a bit, considering the shade wasn't the perfect one for me. Or, or the formula, actually. This is a new product in my collection. This is the Bobbi Brown Corrector. I got the color uh, Porcelain Bisque. I'm still testing it out to decide if I like it as a corrector on my eyes or not, so I'm gonna keep it. But I think I'm gonna pass this one, uh, actually just gonna trash it because I've had this one for quite a long time. This is the uh, Porcelain Creamy Concealer and there's the Sheer Finish Powder, which is why I was keeping it because I'm not crazy about the concealer here. I feel like it was too drying for my under eyes. I hope I'm not blending you. like. I'm really hoping the lighting and stuff is okay because it's very difficult to do this. There's no natural lighting in this, this room and I feel like there's bright lights and reflection everywhere. Anyway, uh, too drying, don't love it. I would keep the powder, but let's be realistic. I have too many powders. It's not worth keeping it. So I'm going to pass uh, trash this because it's old. I'm getting a little bit more reasonable, I feel. Another one that I'm getting rid of is the MAC Studio Concealer, simply because I have the number uh, NC15. One of the first time I went in a store and someone finally helped me. <laughs> this is the shade that they recommended for me. I sent thing for the foundation, which was not a really good match, actually. But this is a great concealer, but it's old and it's not a perfect match, so I would like never finish it. I haven't finished it, so I'm gonna do a back to MAC with this one. Uh, um, same thing with this one. This is the MAC Select co Cover Up. I use quite a bit, you can see it. Uh, I have the shade NW15, which was a much better match for me. This is more lightweight. It's not full, full coverage, but it wasn't drying under my eyes, which was great. So it is a great one. I would repurchase it, but I don't need to repurchase a concealer ever again. So I'm going to back to my this. I'm keeping the studio concealer because I'm not done with it. This one again is NW15, so I'm keeping this one. Let's go through the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I bought a few shades, I got sent a few shades, and I feel like now I just have a ridiculous amount. And I already, I have a drawer, by the way, which like has all my giveaway pile, and there's already a bunch of them. Uh, I gave a few to friends and family, but I still don't need more than one of each color, so let me go through this quickly. Okay, I'm not gonna keep uh, light ivory because it's too yellow tone for me. So I'm gonna pass this along. I believe I preferred the uh, nude one, natural, over this one. So I'm gonna pass this one along too. I feel like I have more than that and I lost some or something. Anyway, I'm gonna keep uh, porcelain and this one is the color natural. Those are the best match for me. For the corrector, I'm gonna keep them because... Why, oh no, it's, it's not even a corrector? Oh. Okay, so this one is uh, Creamy Ivory, which I use mostly as a corrector. As you can see, it's pretty pink tone. And I'm gonna keep the uh, green one simply because I got rid of the NYX one. So I want a corrector from drugstore. And I haven't tried this and I like the formula. So I'm gonna keep them. They're great options. They're really, really affordable. Wow, this is like the never ending drawer. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to cut this in way more uh, videos than I originally thought. So. This is a more recent one. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea uh, Concealer. I have the color light. The colors I would recommend going in store because I feel like the one over uh, darker than this one was super orange. So I went with the lighter one. I can still kind of get away with it right now, but it's starting to be too light. Uh, it's a humongous sponge applicator. Um, the thing is it smells like chemicals. So I like it. I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to finish it but I'm not sure I would repurchase it because I like it, but not crazy. And I feel like the smell is kind of a bummer. So keeping it, but not necessarily uh, in love with it anymore. I've been trying it more and more and I'm just kind of mm, about it. Kind of like the foundation. I like it, but I don't love it, but I don't hate it. This was a huge disappointment. This is the Bourjois LT Mix um, Correcting Concealer. It is incredibly yellow. I got the lightest shade, which was 51. And it's much darker than the foundation, actually, because I got the foundation at the same time. Here, you can see them. 
Like you can see that the concealer is much darker, which is like, what is this? Like I feel like concealer should always be the same color or lighter. So I'm gonna pass this along because it's not working for me. I don't hate the consistency, but it's just, it's a no. As you can see, I haven't tried it yet. This is the uh, CoverGirl True Match, <laughs> True Blend uh, concealer. I like the foundation, so I wanted to see if I liked the concealer, and I kind of like the stick idea, so I'm gonna be testing that out. I have the Rimmel uh, Match Perfection uh, concealer. I like this. This is the color Fair, which as you can see, it's not that light. Once again, I feel like a lot of drugs and foundation uh, concealer don't go light enough. But I do like it. I'm gonna, I actually use quite a bit of this. It's supposed to be brightening too. I'm not sure if I think it's that brightening. Again, the color might not be light enough. Although I'm gonna be testing it out now again, just to see how it works because I'm gonna be testing the foundation because I'm gonna go buy it because I've been asked to. <laughs> they have new shades. So anyway, um, this is gonna go in D. I'm keeping it piled, yeah. Okay, this one I'm torn. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Found, uh, Concealer. I have the color uh, NW15. I have had this for not super long, so I could keep it. But the thing is, I hate the pump, like completely hate the pump. And I feel like it could be, um, like it's a bit on the drying side. It's not overly drying, but if you have really dry under eyes, I wouldn't recommend it. It's full coverage, but I think I'm gonna pass it along because I feel like someone else would like this better than me. Like I, I don't hate it, but I feel like I prefer like the makeup for everyone, you know? So I think I'm gonna pass this along. That was very reasonable of me, by the way. Like, <laughs> do you do this? Like, when you try to get rid of stuff, you try to, like, argue with yourself. And it's very difficult whenever you post a video and there's, like, a couple thousand people judging you afterwards. So, trying really badly. It's still going to be an unreasonable amount of concealer, by the way. Okay, the NARS one. This is the NARS Creamy, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the shade um, Light 2, which is vanilla. Don't kill me. Uh, I don't like this. Uh, I feel like there's not a lot of people that sit. I feel like it's very he heavy. It's very heavy and it's uh, kind of cakey looking under my eyes. I'm gonna keep it to dry it more, but I feel like it's gonna be something like I'm already, I already posted it actually in a disappointing video, product video, but I'm gonna keep it for now just because I'm really trying to love this, but honestly would never repurchase unless I can find a way to like it. But so far, not the case. So keeping it for now, but. I should just get rid of it, let's be honest. Then I have the uh, L'Oreal True Match Concealer. This is the shade C123. I wouldn't say it's C1, keep that in mind. Uh, it's probably closer to C3. Uh, it's a good concealer, I don't hate it. I think it's nice, it's pretty cool tone, which is difficult to find in a drugstore sometimes. I feel like if you have a warm undertone, you feel like it's the opposite, but trust me, it's very difficult to find some of them. Uh, it's a great one, I like the little brush. I feel like it's very different from the other one, so I'm gonna keep it. It's a great option for a drugstore. And as you can see, this one is pretty recent. This is the CoverGirl uh, Ready Set Gorgeous. I have the color 115, 120, which should be a pretty good match. Let me know what you think of it because I feel like I've never heard a lot of people mention that. And I don't know if it's because it's not good. I feel like a lot of CoverGirl things are like underrated. Like nobody talks about them, but they're good. So let me know what you think of this because obviously I'm gonna be trying it out. I apologize if you can see the reflection in the thing on the wall. I should actually change the background. It's very difficult. Like I said, there's no lighting. So so those are all of them. So those are the ones that I'm tr trashing. Those are the ones that I'm passing along. And this one I might be keeping for the video. Let me know what you think once again. And sadly, this is all the pile that I'm keeping, which I know is still completely ridiculous, but I still got rid of deux, quatre, six. I got rid of 12. Like, it's not horrible, no? But yeah, I do need to stop buying concealers. I need to test the ones that I have and decide which one I want to keep, which ones I don't, because it's still a, an unreasonable amount. But I do feel like that I have a good like amount of like some drugstores, some high-end ones. Like, drugstore has a few really, really fantastic concealers. So I still have too much, but I feel like it's still a little bit more reasonable. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.